Every day, Angus breeders face a challenge as old as animal breeding itself, identifying the best animals with superior genetic merit. But here's the challenge. An animal's true genetic merit is not revealed until that animal has progeny. And between an animal's birth and the arrival of its progeny, a number of important decisions must be made. Who makes the cut to be a breeding candidate? Who will sell his herd bulls and for how much? And who should go to be collected for AI versus sold into a commercial herd? Without the certainty that comes from progeny on the ground, these vital decisions can only be made with a prediction based on a combination of indicators or traits available early in the animal's life. As breeders know, these predictions are called expected progeny differences or EPDs. The classic EPD, whose predecessor was first introduced in the breed in 1972, combined these different indicators giving each its appropriate way to provide the most accurate prediction of future differences in progeny performance. Although a successful tool that breeders have adopted to make effective change in the breed, there are still limitations. For instance, any breeder who has bred the same bull to the same cow twice can attest to the impact of parents on an animal's genetic merit. But there's a lot more to that story. Every time a sire and dammer mated, the breeder plays the lotto game and may end up with a calf that is superior to or inferior to its parents. And the breeder doesn't know for sure which animal has inherited a good or bad shake. Performance measures available at an early age provide the first indication of what this shake might be. But each performance measure only correlates to the animal's true genetic merit to a certain degree. And so this classic EPD with both parent data and performance measures gives breeders more confidence than ever before, but still nowhere near the certainty that comes with progeny. In the past decade, livestock breeding and all species went through a major revolution, a revolution driven by genomics. Genomics addresses the same challenge of determining whether or not an animal inherited a good or bad shake from its parents. This is accomplished by combining performance measures on animals with genotypes. We've always known that, like previous tools, genomic predictions were not perfect. And so in order to determine just how useful they are, we ran some tests. We took 178 2015 and 2016 born sires that had 25 or more progeny with performance records and ran classic EPDs that included just their progeny performance data. We then wound back the clock on the evaluation to see how these bulls would have scored before they had their progeny using first only parent data, then parent data plus performance, and then parent data plus genomics. The classic EPD using just their parent information predicted progeny results at 40% predictability. Adding in the performance measure raised this to 44%. But an EPD based only on parents plus genomics without performance data had a predictability of 65%. We tested other traits and results were similar. Every time, the genomically enhanced EPD was clearly better at predicting progeny than the classic performance-based EPD. The challenge facing breeders hasn't changed. They still must predict what a young animal's breeding worth will turn out to be when its progeny arrive. The parents still provide the baseline for an animal and the performance measures are still the raw ingredient in helping to predict this future progeny performance. But now genomics is adding significantly more accuracy to these early predictions. These predictions are still not perfect, but we want to help our breeders make the absolute best decision possible. And the research shows us that right now the most powerful tool we have is driven by genomics.